Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World and we're checking out today the new hero that is hybrid. Now this guy is an affliction ninja, which is pretty cool. I mean the actual idea of him is pretty awesome. It's like he's dishing out poison and giving affliction damage to his enemies over time. A bit like a snake bite or a lizard bite or something like that, which I thought was pretty cool. So what he's got is a fire of the dragon, so it increases affliction duration by 67% and it also means that your dragon slash is, affli uh, is afflicted as well. So I've gone for a bit Build that hopefully I think complements that. I'll have a look. I'll show you guys the build in a second. So that'll just take a moment. So let me just take down these guys. See how this works. It's not working out very well right now. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Kunai Storm. <laughs> now I don't think the Kunai Storm actually does the affliction, but his weapons and his dragon slash and him just hitting like this will actually cause affliction. So is that his enemies there will damage over time. So look, I've just kind of hit them, a bit like a snake bite, and I've also got corrosive stars. So if we just look, I mean, that is minimal damage. <laughs> that is not as much damage as what I want. Now, I know that's going to kill them, but that was more the Dragon Slash. But did you see the fire come out with it afterwards? So when he does the Dragon Slash, he actually puts this little fireball around him, which actually means he's doing fire damage. So he's actually going to be more effective against nature enemies, which is pretty cool, I thought. Now I've gone for three versions, so three dragon slash like improvements. So I've got Wings of the Dragon, Tail of the Dragon, and Return of the Dragon. So that'll reduce the, uh, that'll increase the range, that'll increase the damage and leave a trail behind, which you just saw there, and it'll reduce the actual time. So it'll reduce the actual cost of the dragon slash as well. But these stars, I'm not sure they're that good. I've got the returning stars look. For taking out single targets, they're not all that bad, and the stars come back like super, super quick. Now, the thing is with this, you'll find that you've killed things. This is a PL100, but you've killed things before they've actually got time to take the affliction, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, the stars are pretty awesome for taking out single targets. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Look, there you go. And they're going to come back and get him. So there with that taker, what actually happened is the stars came back and they were applying the affliction on him as well, which is great. The dragon slash puts the affliction on, but did you see that fireball? How cool does that look? That's pretty awesome. Okay, now the weapon damage, what you'll find is if you've got this guy in your commander slot, it'll do 10 dots of actual damage on there. If you've got him in support, it'll do eight dots. And then if you don't take him along, you get the eight dots anyway. So if we just have a look with the weapon damage on there, look, let's just get, let's just get a full one. So if we just look, it will dot them down. If you just kind of just like cover them like that, look, it is dotting them down, but it's actually just hits the duration rather than the actual affliction damage. So this is actually just taking them down super slow. I mean, any character, any player would have took these guys down already by now. So the dot really is minimal. It's not really doing a huge amount. If you look, if we just put the dot back on there, just take him out. And if you look, it's not doing mass amounts of damage. Now, if we do the sword, so we'll just hit him once with that as well. Look, it's just, it's just so minimal. that <laughs> It's not really doing anything to him. So we could be here all week if we're relying on the actual dots. I mean, this this is slow, but he's by no means a bad, you know, a bad hero. If you have a look, I mean, I've got the stars on there as well. The stars are pretty cool. So we get the stars look, and when the stars come back, they'll actually do damage on him as well. Let's go and get a, see if we can get a husky husk that's a bit more lively. Not you. Okay, let's just take these down. It just, it just feels extremely, he's like a very basic ninja, but I do like the whole like snake bite concept of him. You know, that's all pretty cool. I like the venomous kind of thing that he's got going on. The Dragon Slash is so powerful, you know, with the dots on there. I mean, look, he's just taking them out. But the Husky Husk, it's not doing a great amount to him. He's not great at taking out Husky Husks or even Mist Monsters for that matter. I mean, let's just go across again. So that's got my Dragon Slash dots on it. It's got everything on there. Okay, I'm just going to use that just to actually heal the, uh, <laughs> heal up the survivor while we're doing science. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the sword alone will take him down far quicker than relying on any dots. I mean, he's got potential. He's definitely got potential. I just think we need to try it on something bigger. It's not like he's going to be awesome at wave clear. He's not going to be particularly awesome when it comes to taking down mist monsters. So his real like, area, if you like, comes to just taking out standard husks. Okay, let's try this encampment. Let's just see. This is only encampment number one. So this is not going to be overly difficult. <laughs> Shouldn't be overly difficult. Shouldn't be overly difficult. So we've got the stars look. I mean, the stars are pretty cool. Cool, nice storm. See, he's pretty badass. Weapon damage is great, obviously, because I've got the affliction on there. But that's more relying on the weapon than it is relying on, you know, his actual skills. 
Okay, let's just let's just use the stars on this husky husk. So that's pretty cool. Though. That nearly took him all the way down, and the affliction's still getting him, or it should be. It should be. <laughs> it is. Look, it took him down eventually. I love that. I love the actual fireball thing that he does. Okay, let's try him on a mist monster. So this is a blaster then, and a taker. So they're the stars then that were on him. I'm just going to take the taker down with the silent spectre. Now that's going to be applying dots on him, but the spectre's going to hopefully have killed him before I even need the dots. There you go. As expected. Okay, I'm going to take these down with the dragon slash. Just so it's just me and uh, me and the good guy here. Okay, look. So the dots are actually doing the work. There you go. Let's put some more dots on. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I love that Epic are actually experimenting with new things like this. I think that's definitely needed. That's something that you do need. I think the stars are, a, you know, a nice little addition. It actually feels pretty venomous, which is what I wanted. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just keep on going. So, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. So his Dragon Slash is pretty cool. Kunai Storm's good. I don't know if the Kunai Storm will actually be applying Affliction. I doubt it very much, but we'll try it in a minute. Okay, so we've took him out. Oh, we've got another another one over there. Whoa. Now, I've had to put the Dragon Slash cooldown on. I just think it's so, so needed. Okay, look. So I've actually put the stars on him. <laughs> it's just not enough. I could have done that. I mean, usually you would be taking this out with a weapon. Okay, what I've done, I've just come out of the game. Now, this was what I was actually using. So I've got Fire of the Dragon on there, which is his, you know, his commander perk. Round Trip on there. And then I also had Corrosive Stars, which I was using as a combo. But instead, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go with Dim Mac. So Dim Mac on there. And then I'm going to change this one. And I'm going to put Survivalist on here as well, just to kind of keep him up and keep him alive. There it is there. So I've got Wings of the Dragon, Tail of the Dragon, Return of the Dragon, Corrosive Strikes, obviously, because I want to be taking advantage of that Affliction I'm putting on there. And then we've got Survivalist. So let's jump back in and see if that is any stronger. Okay, so we're back in exactly the same mission then, but obviously we've got those upgraded stats. So we've gone for the Dim Mac and the Survivalist, which I think is all it probably needed. I think that was all I was missing. So let's just see how we actually get on with this. So the only thing we've not got now is the benefit of the stars, which, do you know what? For what they were actually given to us, I don't think that's the end of the world. <laughs> All right, so let's just keep on going here. I mean, you can still use the stars, I guess. It's not going to hurt us. But what we've actually got now is we can get the dragon slash up loads and loads, and we're going to be applying that beautiful, delicious affliction to all of these, which is great. You know what? Why not? I'll just use the kunai storm if I've got it. All right, that was much easier. That was like a different hero altogether. <laughs> okay, just waiting for wave two to spawn in. Let's just get our bearings here, see who's where. All right, there we go. So we're straight in then. I'm trying not to use the heavy attacks. I want to save it for the dragon slash and the kunai storm, which are going to be better. So we've only got two seconds left on the dragon slash. Just run around. Let's just go and get these guys over here. Sorry. Perfect. Dragon slash back through. Yeah, this is this is much, much easier. Alright, there we go. Finish him off. And there you go. Alright, let's do one more and then we'll call it quits. Okay, let's just prove that wasn't a fluke. <laughs> but I do, just by doing a third, just to be sure. Okay, that was a total waste of dragon slash. There we go with the kunai storm. And I kind of like the fact that it does cause affliction. I mean, that is pretty cool. Oh, use, just using it again. And look, you, I think you definitely need the survivability with this guy. Just use the stars there to finish those off. And we'll just finish this guy off with the Spector. Now, if you look on there, it's pretty cool because it does extra damage to afflicted. So because he's afflicted, it does take him out pretty easy. I wouldn't mind trying that out on a smasher. Maybe that'd be pretty awesome. Look, these guys surely aren't counting towards the encampment, right? So the encampment's done. I, I was still waiting for it. It's because... Oh, it's still up, look. Okay, that's weird. Okay, but we'll just... We'll take it. So we have to just free this guy up, I think. Oh, look. I think the actual encampment's just come back up at the same time. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? We don't like to do things the easy way here. Okay, let's just get into all these guys then. Yeah, all right. There's just absolute mayhem going off down here, which is great. <laughs> This is how the game is meant to be played. All right, let's get that juicy Spectre on. Look at this. 
This is just going to absolutely destroy anything and everything. And these are nature husks as well. So, do you know what? With the fire damage we've got on there, that's just going to wipe those guys out. Don't you mention it. It's what I do. You're not frightened that there's a giant lizard in front of you with his clothes, like, ripped off? Okay, I just felt... I just spent, like, too long looking for a smasher to fight. And here we are, finally. I just kind of want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the smasher just to see what he's like from an affliction perspective. So, let's just get all his little friendos out there. There you go. So, look, just me and smasher... Just me and Smasheroo now, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> no heavy attack. Easy. All right, good. I mean, all right, this is just a PL100. And you know what? It's not the it's not the toughest map that's out there. The four-player ones are. But, you know, this guy can hold his own. He's okay. He's, he's very specific. So he's one of those heroes that's very, like, I don't know. He's, just, he's very niche in a lot of ways. Like, if you're fighting lots of nature enemies, then he's going to be worth it. But other than that, can't really see it. Don't see where you're going to use him all that much. I mean, he's a fun hero. He's good. He's got the Kunai Storm. He's, you know, he's good with swords. He's good with guns. So you can pretty much use him as a go-to hero. If you're a hero that looks cool, then yeah, you know, you've got it. This guy is awesome. But let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. I would absolutely love to know. Guys, if you're not part of the Latana army already and it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already one of the troops, then you're awesome. Make sure you drop me a like and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I noticed on Reddit a lot as well, Magister's been posting like a lot of puns. So he's been doing a lot of puns. <laughs> but I'm not going to lower myself to that. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a lizard. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Did you hear about the lizard that couldn't change colour? Because he had reptile dysfunction? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I mean, if it was in Harry Potter, I'm guessing it'd be in Slytherin, right? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, lizard on a chair. That <laughs> doesn't even work. Doesn't even work. No, your pun does not work, Latana. Stop. Oh, them bees. I mean, technically, is bees and a bees and a lizard a blizzard? <laughs> Ha ha ha!